This video is sponsored by Zandile Loves Maths online courses. More about them later in the video. So now let's prove the last theorem, which is theorem 5, which is the what? The 10 chord theorem, right? So in the information that they gave us, they gave us the following. They gave us that circle with the center O, and they tell us the fact that the tangent is R touching the circle at B, right? And they tell us that chord AB subtends the angle what? P1 and Q1. Then they say the fact that we need to prove the following. So let me just take my pen. We need to prove the following. We need to prove that angle ABR. So ABR, which is A is here, B is here, and R. So this angle here, right, is equals to what? It's equals to angle APB. So it's equals to this angle here. So that's the first one that they want us to prove. And I'm just going to put a blue dot there. And the second one is what is, is um, A, which is A, B, is, which is this one. So it's going to be A, B, is. So it's going to be this one here, right? It's equals to what? It's equals to angle A, Q, it's equals to angle A, Q, B. So it's equals to this one. So that's the two things that they want us to prove. So as you know, with what with proving, we need to do what? We need to do a construction, right? So our first construction is that we're going to create a diameter that goes from B and connects to the center, right? And goes up and creates what? And creates point T. So like this, right? And we're going to connect uh, that point T that we just created with point A, just like that. Do you see that? So that's what we're going to do. And what do we see? We see from this, we have created what? We have created a 90 degrees here at this angle because of a diameter. It created a what? A rectangle. So this is what? Angles in a semicircle. We've created that. And also, we're going to name this what? T1, right? Also, another thing is that we have also um made angles in the same segment so we know the fact that now angle t1 is going to be equals to angle q1 and that's angles in the same segment right so with our diagram uh filled it in right and we have put the relative information we can go ahead and prove so as i said the fact that this course is sponsored by Sandile Loves Maths online courses. So if you're watching this in 2024, after 2023, um, you're probably going to get a different course. This is going to be the complete course for grade 12. So I'll be explaining each and every topic that is going to be tested in metric in details, starting from grade what? From starting from grade 10 till grade 12, because of, as you know, by this point that basics are very important. But if you're watching this video in 2023, then it's a different story because um, the course is not yet complete. So you're only going to get what you're going to get the Euclidean Master Euclidean Geometry course, right? And also I might release the second one, which is Master Trigonometry. That one is going to come out before you guys write your final, right? Let's talk about what the Master Euclidean Geometry course includes. It includes explanation from grade 10 till grade 12, right? And the reason why I did that is because of everything that when you get to grade 12, knowledge, uh, what you call this, the basic concept of Euclidean geometry and any other topic that I'm going to discuss is very crucial to understand the basics and the basics, which means the fact that it's very crucial to understand grade 10 and grade 11. So instead of just me focusing on grade 11, I focus on uh, what you call instead of me focusing on grade 12, I focus from grade 11 grade 10 and then i moved to grade uh, 12. i know the fact that i started by saying grade 11 but i focus from grade 10 then i come to grade 11 then finally grade 12 right so that's what it's going to include video explanation of the concept from grade 10 11 and grade 12. then another thing that it's going to include it includes uh, exercises and uh, test your knowledge exercises 
And if it's an exercise, it's going to have a video solution. But if it's a test of knowledge, it's going to be something that I've talked about in the previous video. So if you go back and watch the video, you could understand why you got that test your knowledge. It's more law, it's more along the uh, theory part. So that is why I don't do it in video solution. Then I also, um, in the course, cover past papers. Now, as you're speaking, I'm covering past papers from 2018 till the previous recent year, which I mean the fact that if you are, if we are in 2023, I cover till 2022. So if you're 2024, then the previous recent year is going to be 2023, right? So that's what I mean. Then... Another thing is that the whole course, imagine for just Master Euclidean Geometry, it's 11 hours long. So that you can see the fact that you getting this course, you are absolutely going to Master Euclidean. And again, as you know that, guys, is that Euclidean Geometry has a lot of marks in paper too, right? So this would cover your basics till metric and how to approach um questions in the right way so now let's talk about how to place your order so again if you're watching this in the future meaning you are 2025 after if you're not in 2023 then you clicking on the preview uh link right because there's going to be two links it's the one that says preview the course it's just you looking at the fact that one is that the course really exists so that you know can see it and you can see how many what you call this the topics that i cover but i would advise you if you're in 2023 not to use that link to place an order don't sign in don't do anything uh, but if you are after uh, 2023, meaning you are 2024, 2025, you are in the future, right? Then what I would, uh, what you call this, you're going to use the same link to just uh, get the course. So you're just going to get the course and it's no longer going to be like separate topics. If you are in the future, it's going to be the entire course where I cover the entire grade 12 syllabus. So from your soul for X till the last topic which is probability but if you are in 2023 as i said the fact that the course is not yet complete so the only thing that you have it's going to be what it's going to be the master euclidean geometry then you're also gonna have the trick and for you guys you already i've already uploaded um master functions and master number patterns so let's talk about the people that are in 2023 on how to place an order so you're going to click on the link that says place an order then i'm just going to play a video on how to do like how to place an actual order and the video is just going to play now so this is my website right so you're going to get into the website this is what you're going to see then you're just going to go down then you will see master utility and geometry right so you're going to say buy now then you're going to add to bag right as you would shop online then you're going to go here right so after that it's going to load so now for you to know on to get my backing details you're going to put your email address so let me just put mine right so then after putting the email address you're gonna say check out so when you go to check out the only pay method is eft so it has my banking details it stays for reference you need to say your code right you need to basically say your order code and the minute you place an order you're going to get an email that has your order code it starts with hash right then when you're done send me your proof of payment using this number right then after you send me a proof of payment, um, you're going to send me an email, your email address. Then I'm going to activate you on what? On the course. Then automatically, the course will send you an email to set up your new password. So this is the type of email that you're going to get. It's going to say, hello, student one. This is, was just for example, right? So it's going to be, hello, then your name and surname. Then it's going to say, welcome to Zandile Loves Maths. Let's get started. Then you need to click here to set your password. And that way, after setting your password and when you log in, you are automatically part of the course. Then you're going to have access to the entire course. So the first thing that we do is that we state what we have constructed, right? So we know the fact that we what? We draw what we drew the diameter 
the diameter what the diameter bt right and joined and joined what and joined t to a so that's what we have done right so now how we're going to prove this is that we're going to start with what we're going to start with the green one because the green one is going to lead us to what to the blue one so let's start so we're going to start with this one the green one and just to make it clear let me just write it in green so that we very clear the fact that we're proving that this angle q1 first is equals to this angle here right so how are we going to start we know the following we know the fact that angle t b is is equals to what is equals to 90 degrees and our reason is going to be what is going to be 10 perpendicular to radius and let's go to the diagram what i mean is that angle t right b is i mean that this angle here do you see the fact that this angle here is going to create a 90 degrees and the reason is that we have created what we have created a radius and sr was a tangent right so this is going to be equals to 90 degrees so now what do we see so let me take my pen so now what do we see we see the fact that the 90 degrees the one that we just put this 91 this uh, angle tbs right is made out of which angle our angle that we want which is angle a b is plus what plus this angle here let me just go take my pen plus this angle here the small one right the small angle which is going to be what this is going to be angle a right a b t right and that is going to be equals to 90 degrees so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to write this angle in terms of what uh what you call this i'm going to make this angle the subject so i'm going to say a b is is going to be equals to 90 degrees minus minus what minus a b t right so now we are sorted with finding what with this finding this portion of the question right of the proof so we we sorted with that so now we need to link it back to this one right so with that one what do we see we see the following we see the fact that this angle here do you see this angle here where i put across is equals to 90 degrees so we see the fact that the following that angle that angle b a t right is equals to 90 degrees and our reason is what angles in semicircle right so we see the fact that angles in semicircle i also know that angle t1 right so angle t1 is equals to what is equals to angle q1 right which is angle q1 is also known as what as a q b so and that's what that's angles in the same segment so that's angles in same sec so that one is sorted right so we know the fact that we have linked this two together so what do i see let me just highlight this let me just erase this and let me just emphasize what i want to say what do i see if i take this triangle right i can find angle t1 in terms of what in terms of this angle and this angle right so i see the fact that angle t1 is equals to what is equals to the following is equals to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees right and minus this angle and this angle is what let's name it is angle a b t right and our reason is what sum of angles in a triangle sum of angles in triangle so with that said i know the fact that angle t1 is equals to what is equals to 90 degrees right minus a b t so now what do we see we see the fact that this right and what and um this are basically equals to each other so now i know the fact that a b is is equals to what to angle t one 
But remember what did I say about angle T1? I said angle T1 is equals to what is equals to this, which is what we want from the question. Do you see? Which is what we want. So we also know the fact that now we can conclude that what? That A, B, S is equals to what? Is equals to A, Q, B. So in that case, we are sorted, right? So now we are done proving the, the green one. So now let's prove what? Let's prove the uh, blue angles, right? So now from the blue one, from proving the blue one, what information do we know? So we know the fact that angle A, Q, right? B plus what? Plus angle A, right? P, B is equals to 180 degrees, right? So this angle, which is perfect because of that's what I want, right? It's equals to 180. And my reason is what? Is opposite angles of a cyclic quad. So it's opposite angles of cyclic quad. Right? So it's going to be opposite angles of a cyclic quad. So I also know what? I also know the fact that the following. Remember the fact that I want this angle here. And I'm just going to change into two blue so I can emphasize it. I want this angle here. Right? So what do I know about that angle? I know the fact that this angle A, right? A, B, A, B, S plus what plus the angle that i want which is angle a right a b r is equals to what is equals to 180 degrees and our reason is angles in a straight line so that's sorted so now i see the fact that both of them are equals to 180 so i can equate them together so i see the following i see the fact that a Q, right, B, plus A, P, B, is equals to what? Is equals to A, B, S, plus what? Plus what? Plus A, right, A, A, B, R, right? So what do I see? Now I'm going to highlight what I want, or I'm going to underline what I want. From the blue one, I want A, right? I want A, P, B, which is this one, the one that I want, right? And I also want A, B, R, so it's this one. So now I need to figure out the relationship between these two, where I put stars. I need to find the relationship between the two. So what is AQB? So I see the fact that AQB is this one. Do you see? It's this one. And what is ABS? Is this one. So we see the fact that they equals to each other, right? So if they equals to each other, I do agree the fact that they're going to cancel out. So therefore, I know the fact that what? I know the fact that APB is basically equals to a, B, R. And we have proved what? And we have proved the blue one. And we are done with this proof.